Okay, so in this video we're going to be talking about importing SketchUp into Revit. There has been some updates and um, there's some useful information just for you to check through if you're wanting to follow this process. So you can see inside of um, this screen I have SketchUp open. I've got a simple uh, SketchUp model in here and I've got three different materials applied on this model. Now the important thing we need to remember if we want to get this model inside of Revit is that we need to save this as a particular type of SketchUp file. So we go to File and Save As and I'm going to save in my documents. I'm going to name this Archway 3 and I'm going to save it as SketchUp version 8. Okay, that's what you need to remember. SketchUp version 8 and I'm going to press save. Okay, that's all we have to do inside of SketchUp. These materials are going to be useful to us and we're going to see the um, updated control that we have inside of Revit. So let's go and take a look at Revit. All right, so inside of Revit, I'm going to open up a new uh, architectural template and we're going to bring in our SketchUp model we're going to import it now i'm going to talk about best practice here what we uh, need to do is create a component a model in place component and this is what we're going to import our sketchup file into now the advantage of this is it works better with the levels the elevations and stuff and allows us to see um, the cut throughs of this model okay so this is why we um, we add our SketchUp model to a component inside of Revit so I'm going to choose generic models that gives us the most control click OK and I'm going to call this Archway 3 okay so that it matches up with the file that I'm bringing in you could name it whatever you like so click OK and in here I'm just going to uh, bring over my project browser a little bit I'm going to choose insert and click on link CAD this is where I can select archway 3 now you may find that when you open up this dialog window that um, you only have DWG files are visible this is the default but if you click on the drop down you can choose SketchUp files and you'll be able to see the SketchUp files that you can import. If you've got, um, if you haven't saved as a SketchUp 8 file, you'll see the file, but it won't allow you to import it at the moment. Okay, so let's press open on Archway 3. Press open and there is Archway 3. Okay, I can finish the model and let's have a look in our 3D view and there is archway 3 and we can see that there are different colors and different materials applied to this SketchUp file okay now by default um, when we bring in a SketchUp file for the actual appearance of the model if we do a test render ray trace from the bottom here you'll see that all the materials that we applied in SketchUp have gone and we've got this default 80 80 80 um, gray which may not be what you want so let's go back to shaded view and let's go to manage so one of the things that is new in Revit is that it's updated the information that has actually come into Revit from SketchUp we can go into materials and we can filter to the materials that have come from SketchUp by going to SKP. Okay, here are all the materials, and you can see the appearance is all this 80, 80, 80 gray. Um, but if I click on one of these, you can see that there are different colors um, applied for the graphic appearance. So if you click on the color, you can add this color to your custom colors palette click OK you can then go to the appearance and you can uh, paste that color in okay so that we get the appearance color matching more with um, the graphical uh, information so let's go to the cinder block go to the graphics 
click on the color here add that to our palette click OK click on the appearance choose this color use the custom uh, selected palette and we can see that we are modifying uh, the actual appearance of each of the materials. So I'm going to click OK and modify the appearance just here with this brown color and you can see that they're all changing. Alright so let's do this one which is a very similar grey. Let's add this click OK, go to the appearance click on the color swatch again choose this grey OK and we've made slight changes here. We're going to click OK and if we do another ray trace render uh, we should see some of those differences. Now we're going to do some uh, advanced changes to the materials but we can see that we are able to modify and edit those materials uh, inside of Revit now which is really very good. So that is how um, this is best practice for importing from SketchUp into Revit you need to be saving as SketchUp version 8 apply some materials beforehand and then use manage materials to modify and change those materials so you can get exactly what you want inside of Revit. Thanks for watching.